Good morning, everybody. We're swacked back to the trail this morning. Had a great night. Going sobo a little bit because I think we uh, bushwhacked incorrectly, but we're hitting the point that we went up the hill and then we'll continue northbound. So, rumor has it that we're about to get some trail magic. <laughs> trail magic. That's becoming a thing now. I think so. So Waynesboro's way in the back, maybe? I think that's what we're thinking. Okay. Wow. I guess up here is Loft Mountain Campground. I guess we played, stayed pretty close to this last night. But uh, we all squeezed in. <laughs> Had a nice night. Pretty cool. Uh, great night's sleep last night. Couldn't complain. It was a little humid, though. So today we have another good day. The weather kind of cleared up for us. It was supposed to rain today, but that got pushed back to tomorrow. So it looks like we're only going to have one day of rain in our four-day stretch. So that's awesome. The trail provides. Ah. The climbing required in hiking the entire length of the AT is the equivalent of Mount Everest 16 times. <laughs> That's cool. Anyway, view, after view, after view today. Freaking spectacular. Looking forward to seeing Gucci Girl and Grumpy doing some trail magic in uh, I think about eight more miles. They're a uh, Pittsburgh resident along with me. And hung out with them before. Awesome. Alright, somebody explain why there's a seashell here. <laughs> Is that natural or did someone just bring it up here and leave it here? <laughs> what the heck? Well, it looks like 100, but definitely... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 900! Congrats, man. Thanks, dude. You too. That's awesome. 900 miles down. The thirty percent chance of scattered showers keep uh, keep hitting us in this area. <laughs> I gave up trying to put my rain jacket on. I'm not even doing it. Every time I put it on, it stops, and then when I take it off, it starts again. So whatever, it doesn't matter. I have sleep clothes that I normally switch to when I get to camp, and it's working out fine. Who cares if this stuff gets wet? Hello. Let's see. That might be High Top Road, I think. About 3.3 miles away. Eh, yeah, it looks about right. Look at that valley down there, though. Jeez. <laughs> All right, this is the trail magic I was talking about. Thanks to Gucci Girl and Grumpy, fellow Pittsburghers. How you guys been? Hanging in there, man. Oh, you got lots of stuff here. How many uh, hikers have been through here? Had a good bunch, what, eight, eight earlier? Yeah. Oh, wow. And they all, here's what they said. Grumpy's here. we got to get out of here. It's going to start raining. And what did it do? It rained. It rained a little bit, yeah. That's why I said, I was like, yeah, man, it's starting to rain. Just go ahead. And, uh, we got Gadget and I'm terrible with names. Moose. Moose, Moose, that's right. My Nice to see you. All right. So, and that's Togs and Lucky. So. Whole bunch of stuff here. I haven't even seen everything, but he even had oh he had cherry coke. But they even have charging stations, so that's awesome. I'm gonna charge some stuff up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You guys don't have to be quiet. There we go. How are you doing? Oh yeah, baskets and nope and oh really? Yeah. Early. We just got here and nope comes out of the woods. I know those people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, we met them in 2017 here. Yep. Egg. Oh. Peanut butter melted. Okay, how, do we get, how do we get? Hey man, appreciate the trail magic, buddy. No that problem, was freaking buddy. great. See you back in Pittsburgh in July or something oh, like that. Maybe June. You can do Pennsylvania too. That's awesome. Yeah, appreciate so that, man. We'll All right. 
All right. Can you bring these guys along though? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Man, that trail magic was phenomenal. Thanks again, Grumpy Gucci and Gadget. Oh, jeez. Packed out a cherry coke and a banana for later. Uh, but we stayed there a little too long, and now it's 4.30, and we have 10 more miles to go. Now, it doesn't start getting dark until probably like 8 o'clock it starts. So I uh, just got to pick up the pace. Somehow, after drinking two beers and two cherry cones, <laughs> somehow we will get to camp tonight. Well, I timed it right with the cherry coke, right by a picnic area. I'm gonna go run up and throw this can out. All right, Lewis Campground, Lewis River Campground, over here. It's a, I guess it's a car camping <laughs> site. I wanted to show you guys this one tent because it looks like a pavilion. And it's gotta fit 45 people. <laughs> oh, anyway, I think we might make camp before dark tonight. I think. So, yeah, we'll see. We got like 1.2 miles left. We already made it to camp, obviously. <laughs> Set up in the hammock already. I uh, had dinner, did chores, and by the time I got everything done, it was 9 o'clock. So I'm chilling. And I uh, met two new through hikers. Um, and I'm terrible with names, so I apologize. But uh, they're both flip-floppers, I believe. One's going south and one's going north right now, so it's pretty cool. Anyway, I am super tired. This day was uh, not even hard, just long, especially after yesterday getting in late and then again getting in late. We're actually going to wake up early tomorrow and get on the trail a little earlier, about 7s. So that's what I usually do, and hopefully <laughs> we won't be too late at camp going to take a look at a wayside tomorrow if there's time and get some blackberry milkshakes i think so we'll see anyway seriously i'm falling asleep right now so good night everybody i'll see you in the morning yeah it's not a good place to do that so you want a through hike well ah! <laughs> <laughs> look i'm not i'm really not getting anything <laughs> I mean, it's going Good morning, everybody. I don't know what day it is, so. Uh, today it's supposed to rain an inch and a half. <laughs> so, that's good. And we got up a little bit early, got up around 5.30, and should be on the trail before 7. I'm going to start walking now. And today is quite possibly blackberry pancakes, but it's in 17 miles. So, going to hit it early. See you down the trail. As I walk on this super rocky trail right here, I, uh, I'm thinking about my family, thinking about home. I'm glad that I have such a supportive family and girlfriend that, you know, they know I needed this hike oh, really badly. I needed this hike. And they've just been awesome with the support that they've shown. It would definitely be a lot harder, you know, if it was flipped around and they weren't supportive, they didn't want me to do it, or they thought I was wasting my time, so, good to have a support group back at home. I think at this point of the trail, it's safe to say that I've gained my faith in humanity back. It was one of the reasons why I was hiking the AT, is just had lost faith in people, man. Everybody seems to be more into social media than taking the time to say good morning to someone, or hi, or even like at a bus stop. No one wants to converse. 
They'd rather be on their phones all day. And I know. I get it. I'm social media, whatever you want to call it. I don't want to say expert because I have no idea what I'm doing. But <laughs> I do social media a lot, I know. But I don't let that stop me from talking to people when I can, when I feel comfortable. And I know I'm introverted, but I'll always say good morning to someone. This is a big thing for me. It makes someone's day by giving a crap, you know what I mean? So anyway, where this is coming from, a subscriber messaged me, I told you about this a couple days ago, but his name's Greg. I told him that, hey, we're about to be in a day early, if that's gonna mess him up or not. Still offered to shuttle as many people as he can around set me up for the night in his house with his family let me use the Wi-Fi to upload videos and laundry and dry stuff out pretty much wreck his whole house with my hiker trash it's just people care about to open up on me. Rain starts in about an hour. Got 5.2 miles to Skyland Resort and Restaurant, which I will be taking advantage for a late lunch today. And then uh, I think 16 miles from here is camp. So doing good on our 26. The uh, rest of the group's way up ahead. It's taking pictures and stuff. And I went to uh, the campground Big Meadows, Big Meadows Campground, and uh, threw out some garbage and took like a little bath in the sink. Just, uh, just wash my arms and face and stuff like that. I was dirty. You should have seen the water that came off me. My goodness, you get dirty out here. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a little bit behind, but yeah, it's not too bad. Should be able to be like 12 miles away from camp by the time uh, noon rolls around. So remember the other day where I was saying, yeah, Shenandoah is pretty uh, graded really well and that there's not really any rocks? <laughs> I lied. <laughs> Today has been all rocks. This is where they've been hiding the entire time, apparently. Apparently you can ride horses in Shenandoah National Park. It's kind of neat. Got 0.6 miles to the resort. I hope it's open. That'll be some really bad information if it's not. Go ahead, Cap. All right, made it to the Skyland Resort. Got a cheesesteak. Everybody's here. Say hi. Are we right? Wow, look at that thing. Holy crap. What is that? I don't need a fork. Oh, man. You got the cheesecake. All right, that was a pretty good stop at the Skyland Resort. A subscriber came up to me, offered to pay for my meal. He insisted, so thank you so much. Really appreciate that. All right, I've been seeing these ever since we got close to Big Meadows Campground. I honestly have no idea what they are, so I'm sure one of you guys know. Please let me know in the comments what the heck that is. Got a little bit of a break in the storm, and <laughs> I thought it was foggy. I almost walked right past this beautiful view. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Okay, there's Pinnacle in the background. 3,700 feet. I'm going to try to get up and over that before the thunder hits. It should have already hit, but it's not even raining right now, so I'm going to take my chances. Right before camp, fog cleared up. <laughs> uh, the storm system's still moving around us, though, as you can see. I got 3.1 probably miles to camp. Hoping I can get down there and set up before the thunderstorms hit. But who knows? I'm pretty close now. Even if they started now, I'd be okay with it. Because honestly, this day. 
was not as bad as they were predicting at all. All right, just like that, I am all set up. I did not make it before the rain started, just FYI. And um, yeah, this site is absolutely terrifying for a hand user. There are trees down literally everywhere. In fact, let me show you one. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, a little, little worried tonight. Um, I did check, there's no Widowmakers, but yeah, this ground is really rocky and that poses a problem getting stakes in. Luckily, I kind of wedged the stakes in between the rocks. You guys can see that down there. That looks like yet another windy night on the AT. I don't know where all this wind is coming from, but I wish it would go away. Just for like a week would be great. I can tell I'm just a little frustrated at this point. I'm sorry, I'm trying to maintain my cool. Uh, I'm just hoping the wind doesn't blow the rain onto the underquilt. That's all that I care about. This underquilt is a little bit higher of a denier. Because uh, I bought it uh, with the mindset that it's going to be kind of my lead into a spring quilt, and so it's a little, a uh, little more wind resistant, I should say, but not by much, not by much at all. Anyway, I think I'm just going to have some dinner. I'm going to get out of these wet clothes. I shouldn't even be in my hammock right now, but I have to take my shoes off. And uh, I got a 27 mile day tomorrow into Front Royal, so that'll be good. Uh, we're almost at the halfway the psychological halfway points. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm just hoping, hoping for a good night with no scary stuff, <laughs> no, no limbs falling down perhaps. That would be nice. I did notice a lot of the other trees around the shelter are cut down. So I'm hoping that they, you know, took a look at all the dead widow makers and limbs and everything and they got rid of everything. But anyway, here we go. See you guys in the morning. <laughs>